Hey, so today kind of odd job stuff around the farm. This morning I just got back from going into town and running some errands, drop, dropping by the chiropractor and stuff. So now we got to pull the 16 row planter out of the shop, put it in the other barn, clean the shop out nice, as good as we can with the... Uh, that old cracked floor, it's been there forever. It's kind of hard to get clean sometimes, all the cracks, and it's not a nice, nice smooth, smooth uh, concrete floor like some of your newer shops would have. But get that all cleaned out as good as we can, then pull the sprayer in there because we got uh, the guy coming to work on that middle of this week, some uh, more major stuff that we didn't want to try to tackle ourselves. So get that pulled in there. Hopefully it'll start up all right today. It's kind of cold. Then uh, probably go look and try to find some used culverts to put in some fields of ours. We got some spots that we used to have culverts in that we'd cross. They kind of washed out, got crappy over time. Some of them we had already pulled out or they just disintegrated and washed away and either haven't been able to get across them or it's been a chore trying to get across those spots. So me and uh, I think uncle go look at some used ones a local guy has or uh, an old one that got pulled out of a farm where farm and a guy had some pasture tore out or whatever. But anyway, so yeah, just some odd job, little stuff going around doing on the farm today. So we'll get to it. So now we're going to be pulling the planter out, putting the sprayer over there in. So let's start this guy up so we can pull the planter out. Well, we're back here. the block heater into the sprayer so it'll start a little easier when we go to move that. Essentially the block heater is uh, it's a heater element that's put into the motor down where kind of the coolant is to uh, warm, keep that all good and warm so that way when you go to start the motor is warm a little bit and everything just starts and runs a little better right off the bat. See that guy right there? That's our block heater. Whew, get some heat going in here. See my breath? It's cold. Real cold.
got that in there. So we go put this guy away and start the sprayer up and then go clean the shop out down there. So we got a nice clean area to work on that. Probably start beeping at me like crazy here the second we start it. Just wait for it. Oh, almost. It is cold. I guess it ain't beeping, I don't got it idling high enough. That guy there, that's saying he's cold. But, oh, there she goes. So, we'll just ignore that guy. Pretend like he's not there. And let it warm up while we go clean the shop out. for some used culverts here at the local construction guys place they do dirt work all kinds of things and got some used stuff we could look at around one of our fields so there's uncle arlen down there Seeing what they got, but some of it's not in too good a shape. If it's a good size like we want, it's all mangled or got holes in it. Like that guy, he looks all right, but then you look inside, and we got a big hole there. And you can kind of see there's pinholes all along there. Well, that probably means that ain't gonna last too much longer. Yeah. That thing's big. That's big. 627. That's That's big. That's what I used to run, the 627 double engine. Oh, you ran one of those? Yeah. That's what I run. You got two throttles right there by your foot. Put your foot right in the middle and you run both of them. You run the front and rear engine. And uh, they got an eight speed automatic. You had two throttles you had to control? Yeah, because you got to run the rear engine and the front engine. Like they weren't like connected? No. Well, that couldn't have been easy. They did have a deal on there. You could smash them all the way down and there was an airlock. Lock them together? That would lock them wide open. 
So would you like use like one more than the other sometimes if you were just driving? Yeah, if you're, you know, and then you see that hook on the back? Uh-huh, all right, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then there's a push block on the back. Yeah. And then on the front, so if one guy's filling, the other one comes up behind him, then that bail, they call it, you'd slap that down on the mm -hmm. hook on the back. And he'd either pull you or you'd push him with that block till he was full. And then uh, he'd pull or push you. In you know, some places, they'd take a D9 or D10 cat, put a narrow blade on it, and you'd come into the fill, you'd come up behind him and they'd hit you and they'd push you. A lot of those were just a single engine. Because all they had uh, the for was to get it up and down the road. For filling, they had that cat would fill you. So you didn't have to mess with that back engine. But these double engine ones, oh, you can move a horrendous amount of dirt. Yeah, I bet. I think it's well, that box is pretty big. cubic yards of dirt in that apron there. Yeah. But you get somebody behind you, it'll just be boiling over it. But that's a pretty new one there. The seat, you sat a little sideways, so you yeah. you'd crane your neck all the time. But they'll run down the road about 35 mile an hour. That's uh, pretty good for something that size. An old cat. She was the old ones. Those original ones, they'd have a, like a four-cylinder big big engine. And then they had a little they called a pony motor. You'd start a little gas engine up. Oh, to get it going, to and get the big was motor your starter going. Starter, turn over that big motor because they didn't have a big enough starter to do it. Uh huh. So you get that pony motor going and wound up. Then you'd engage that, and that would turn the big one over and get him going. Then he'd take off and go. Uh -huh. See that on the back there. You see those drums? Uh-huh. There was two cable winches there. And then there's two levers. You see them sticking up there on top? Uh-huh. So their cable would go from that, those winches, and that's what you'd run your scraper with. Oh, like that scraper that was over there. Yeah, it had the cables. Uh-huh. That's what, before they had hydraulics. That's what they used to use. We, when we were, we did a big uh, job down Lincoln, and then, they had a, I think it was a D7. It had a couple of those on the back. We had a horseshoe like that that we had to fill. We had to get trees like this out of the way. So we cut them off with a chainsaw. And then we strung a cable down from that winch to the tree. He turned that sucker on, that tree just zoom! Flying up. All right, we're back from uh... I guess I forgot to tell you guys, checking some culverts, used culverts out to see uh, what would work. This thing's been running while we've been gone, so I think we'll try uh, moving her here and see if uh, the hydraulic fluid will cooperate on this nice chilly day. We ain't got no beeps yet. So, try to back out of here nice and careful like. I want to get, it's got these side mirrors on the side that you can quote, sort of see as you're backing out, but I'd like to get a camera to mount on the back of the sprayer and then palm it right into the Raven monitor that's in this thing. So. I'd be able to see real good directly behind me instead of trying to use these mirrors. Which, like I said, it works, but slowly been talking dad into some stuff like that. Like, I stuck a camera on the back of the grain cart this year. I've wanted to do that for a while. And also then on the auger. So when we're loading the semis, it's a little easier to see up in there. So that's been real, real nice and helpful. So maybe 
Maybe we'll get them talked into putting a camera on the back of here. Although, like I've said before, sometimes Dad won't fully commit to something like that. So I just end up doing it, buying it, putting it on, and then Dad sees it and like normal, oh, that's, that's pretty nice. Should have done that sooner. And I go, yep, I know, I know, I know. Make sure we fit and don't hit anything. Give him as much room as he can back there. Now we gotta make sure our ladder has room to get down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Shut this puppy off. Good deal. Got her squeezed in here.